When you're building an ML application, one of the first things you'll want to do is introduce ML ops practices. But here's the thing. Don't try to automate everything from day one. Start simple. Set up manual processes first, get a feel for how things work, and then gradually begin automating. Eventually, you'll reach a point where your entire pipeline runs smoothly without any human intervention. Imagine this. From the moment data is ingested to when the model is deployed, monitored, and retrained, it all happens seamlessly, powered by automation. That's the goal of fully automated ML ops. What does a fully automated ML ops system look like? Imagine a world where your ML ops system takes care of everything for you. No manual data processing, no running scripts, no late night deployments. In an ideal setup, your system should be able to pull in and pre-process data from multiple sources automatically. It should train and validate models on a schedule or as soon as new data arrives. Deployment should happen through a zero-touch CICD pipeline. No manual pushing, no clicking buttons. Once the model is live, the system should continuously monitor its performance, detect drift, and retrain based on real-time insights, all without human oversight. Now think about how this compares to the old-school approach. Instead of a data scientist logging into production, running scripts, and manually deploying updates, a fully automated ML ops system handles everything. It follows DevOps best practices using orchestration tools, cloud computing, and AI-driven automation to keep things running smoothly without constant supervision. The key traits of a fully automated ML ops system. First, there's continuous training and deployment. Models don't just sit there waiting for someone to update them. They retrain and deploy automatically whenever it's needed. Then there's end-to-end -end orchestration. Every step from data processing to model deployment is seamlessly connected, making sure nothing falls through the cracks. A truly advanced system also has self-healing pipelines. If something breaks, the system doesn't just stop. It detects the issue and fixes it on its own. Scalability is another huge advantage. Resources adjust dynamically based on workload demand, so you're never over-provisioning or running out of capacity. And finally, minimal human intervention is the goal. Engineers set the rules, but automation handles the execution. Instead of constantly managing the pipeline, you get to focus on innovation and improvement. This is what a fully automated ML ops system should look like. Efficient, reliable, and ready to handle the challenges of real-world ML. Pretty powerful, right? Now, let's take a look at how MLOps has evolved over time, starting from manual workflows and leading up to today's fully automated pipelines.